There are two new Paradox Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. Let's teach you everything you need to know so that you can solo these raids easily with only one Pokemon. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet tips and tricks tutorial videos. Thanks to the brand new Pokemon Presents, we've got an update in the game that will allow us to get two brand new Paradox Pokemon. Now unfortunately these Pokemon are one per save file, just like the previous Terror Raid battles, but the good thing about it is that these raids are relatively easy, being at 5 star. So what I'm going to do in today's episode, it's going to be an all-in-one guide showcasing exactly which Pokemon can take care of both of these Pokemon. The Walking Wake is more of a Water Terra type, and of course the Iron Leaves is more of a Psychic Terra type. One Pokemon to cover them both, it's gonna be really awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for enjoying today's episode. If you find this video helpful, be sure to click that subscribe button for even more tutorial videos, and share the video with another Pokemon fan just like yourself. And of course, if you didn't see already, we've got a very fun giveaway of a Nintendo Switch OLED once we hit 950k subscribers. So, what are you waiting for? Join us. So we're going to start off this tutorial by teaching you guys exactly what's going on with this Terra Raid event. Now, like I said earlier, there are two brand new Paradox Pokemon, and they're going to be available until March 12th, 2023. So you have a few weeks to get these Pokemon. And as you can see over here, they are five-star Terra Raid battles, meaning you don't necessarily need the absolute strongest counter for all of them. Odds are you already have level 100 Pokemon in your boxes that you may have used from previous raids in order to defeat these but of course i'm going to take it a step further and in this all-in-one guide i'll show you one pokemon that's going to do the work so anyway you can see over here that they are very fun walking wake is going to be a water terra type and of course the iron leaves is going to be a psychic terra type i'll show you guys everything you need to know so anyway keep in mind that you only get one of these pokemon per save file so log in and make sure you get this because who knows when it's going to be available again and like all of the other paradox pokemon they can't be bred you can't like wonder trade or hope that you get one everyone's just gonna get one so it's a very very special event anyway let's talk about the pokemon that's going to dominate both of them so the Pokemon that we're going to highlight on today's episode is none other than Golden Go. This Pokemon does absolutely amazing work against both the Walking Wake and the Iron Leaves. And I'll show you guys exactly what the set looks like. So anyway, right off the bat, we've got Leftovers as a recovery item. Every turn you're going to get passive healing. The moveset is going to be pretty easy to use, and you'll really only need one TM. And I'll show you guys exactly where that's at once we build this together. Right off the bat, Metal Sound is a great move, although the accuracy is a little shaky. This one lowers the target special defense by two stages, so you'll want to use this three times. Then, of course, you have the ability to boost yourself with your special attack stat with Nasty Plot, so use that three times. You can, if you really want to start off the battle with any of these screens, you can use Reflect for Iron Leaves, and you can use Light Screen for Walking Wake. So pretty easy to just swap those out depending on what you want. Uh, Shadow Ball over here is going to be used for Iron Leaves because he's a Psychic Terra type and it's same type attack bonus over here so it's going to be very strong. And the only TM that you want to give this Pokemon is going to be Thunderbolt which will allow you to do super effective damage against Walking Wake. So really awesome Pokemon right over this way. And as you can see the ability Good as Gold will help negate all of the Noble Roars that are coming at your way trying to hinder your attack stat. Yeah anyway let's go ahead and find exactly exactly how to get a golden go. I'll teach you guys that in our all-in-one tutorial. We'll then go over and EV train it, hyper train it, give it whatever moves that we want in order to be all set. So that being said, let's jump on into it and see exactly what we have to do over here. So as you can see, I'm on top of a tower this way. You'll be able to find these towers all scattered throughout Paldea. What I like to do over here is find one of these gimme ghoul chests. I like to save the game beforehand just in case uh, I do knock it out because I don't really want to go finding another one. But ultimately, what you want to do is come over to this battle, open up the Gimme Ghoul chest, and you want to catch this guy because he is going to be really good for you. So anyway, head on over. We do have Quick Balls over this way, so I'm going to throw a Quick Ball in hopes that I can get it first turn. If not, no worries. You can use a Pokemon to whittle down its HP and then catch it from there. I don't think I will, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, now, you can't run away from these battles. So that's the reason why I said save beforehand. Uh, you can reset the game and then try again in case you don't have a Pokemon to whittle down its HP because the levels of these Gimmigool are anywhere from like 20 to like 50 or something like that. So no worries. I'm just going to knock it out for all intents and purposes. I've caught, in plenty of the, I've caught plenty of them in the past. So if you guys are curious as to the full-on 
Give Me Ghoul tutorial on how to catch it and where exactly they are in the entire world, you guys can absolutely do so by clicking on the link in the top corner over there or uh, take a look at the description. So now if you take a look at your bag, every time you beat a Give Me Ghoul, you're going to get a whole bunch of his coins. Now, all the way on top right over here, I've got 195 coins. You're going to need 999 coins in order to get him. And those of you guys that have already beaten the game and completed your Pokedex, congratulations. Odds are you already have a Gimme Ghoul uh, available that you can evolve into a Golden Go. So anyway, collect 999 of those. Honestly, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes if you use my tutorial video. So go check that out. All right. So anyway, now that we have our Gimme Ghoul over here, let's actually take a look at it and see if we can get it all EV trained and ready to go for this. So like I said earlier, this one's going to be an all-in-one guide. If you guys already know how to EV train, feel free to skip this portion using the chapters in the uh, the bottom of the screen over here. But anyway, not everyone is a Pokemon master like you, so we're going to show off exactly how to do that, especially if you have money in the game. Uh, of course, if you don't have money in the game, we do have a tutorial video on that. Go take a look at it. You can get a lot of money in the game and some pretty easy ways of doing so. All right. Taking a look right over here, we're going to go back over to Mesa Goza and we're going to buy some vitamins in order to EV train. Buying vitamins is the shortcut way of EV training your Pokemon in the game. You don't necessarily have to do it this way. You can EV train them by battling a whole bunch of Pokemon, but for time's sake, we are going to do that. And we have a boatload of money from all these raid battles. Anyway, uh, what we want to do is we want to purchase 25. We can buy 25. Yeah, we can buy 25 or 24. It doesn't honestly matter. Uh, buy 25 of these for a quarter mil. We'll pay with cash. We got that money. We'll buy 25 HP up. And then we're also going to need the calcium. So pretty much buy 25 of these as well. Now, I already have 356 in my pocket, so I don't need to spend the extra quarter million. Buy that and you're golden. Uh, you're golden go, right? All right. So that's easy. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and EV train them and get them going. This is going to be really fun. So here we go. Let's go over to our bag. We're going to go over to our items. Uh, HP up 25. We're going to do that. Boom, boom. So right over here, HP stat done. We're going to go over to Calcium, which is our special attack stat. We're going to use this item right over here. We're going to click down to use uh, 25 or 26. Doesn't matter. I'll use 25 over there. Perfect. Easy, easy peasy. So now that he is going to be having 250 HP EVs and 250 special attack EVs, he's got a little bit left over. So if you do have the feathers, I do like to recommend going for it and like using the feathers to kind of min max if you want. Honestly, it doesn't matter uh, either way. So health feather, I got a, bo a boatload of these guys. You're just going to have to uh, use a couple of them right over here. So use, use the two, easy peasy. And then if you want the genius feather, you can do that too. So this is really min-maxing his stats. Some people are a fan of it. Some people are not. There's a lot of people divided in the community for that one. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give him a little bit more, I don't know, defense. Yeah, we'll give him defense. I'll give him six of these. So if you have these feathers, you're all set. So this is absolutely not necessary. You give him 26 and call it a day. Anyway. <laughs> Every time I make one of these tutorial videos, there's always an um actually saying, ah, uh, um actually, if you don't use, uh, you know, 26 and use 25 in feathers or the opposite, like you're wasting stats. Oh gosh, help me. All right. Anyway, so that's EV training him. He's all done, ready to go. Max HP, max special attack, and then the rest in defense. You're fine. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to change his nature. We're going to come over here and we're going to buy a modest mint for 20,000. Buy, buy yourself a modest mint. I've got 32 of them. So I don't necessarily need to buy one, but we're going to use it and show you exactly how to change the nature. So let's do that. We're going to go over to bag go over this way. Uh, this is going to be probably not favorites first. We're going to sort over here. I'm going to go over to M for modest mint. And then once we find that, we're going to be all set. So let's give that to him. Here we go. Enjoy. Great. So now we have a modest Pokemon and he's ready to go. That's awesome. So what we need to do now is we need to hyper train him in order to make sure that we are all set and ready to go with min maxing stats because hey, you know what? If this is your one and only golden golden go and you're not going to be grinding a whole bunch more, then you might as well make him the best he can be. So uh, head on over here to, oh, uh, I don't think it's general goods. Yeah, yeah, it is general goods. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Go to general goods. You can buy some bottle caps over here. I would say buy six of them. 
just to make them like fully maxed out. But if you want to save a couple bucks, buy five. Doesn't even matter. So five or six, spend a hundred thousand, you're all set and ready to go. So awesome. Bottle cap done. So now that we have the bottle cap in hand, we are going to go hyper train our Pokemon. Let's do that right over this way. We're going to the Glaciato Montanavera. No, yeah, we're going to Montanavera. Yeah, uh, Montanavera is going to be the spot where we want to go and do some hyper training. Now, our Pokemon is going to need to level up to level 100 by the end of this. So you can use any rare candy that you have or any of the XL candies. And if you guys are curious as to how to get that, you guys can take a look at the tutorial video on how exactly to do it. But I've got a boatload of XL candies from all of these different raids. So we're going to do that really quick before we hyper train this way so honestly we got a bunch we got a bunch uh here we go so not not boxes but we're gonna go over to bag we're gonna go over to items we're gonna go sort by type and xl 824 of them yeah i got a boatload from doing all these raids so it'll take about 42 if he's at level 15 honestly this is perfect so he's gonna be at level 100 awesome uh, he doesn't necessarily evolve at level 100. You have to use the coins on him in order to get him evolved. But right now, for demonstration purposes, we wanted to make sure that he's at at least level 50 so that we could hyper train him. Anyway, coming on over here, getting the hyper training done is uh, Gimme Ghoul. You can see right over this way. We can judge him. You can take a look at his stats. Uh, I don't think you can. Uh, here we go. Yeah, 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 you can. So his stats on the right hand side over here, pretty good, decent, pretty good, decent. These are all like very, very bad stats. It's out of zero versus 31. And we want to get them all forced to 31 stats, which is going to make him the strongest possible. So that's exactly what hyper training is. So talk to this guy, click on your golden go. You bought five or six of the bottle caps. And that means that we are ready to hyper train. So let's do it. Bottle caps, 75 of them. We want to do all of them. Why not? If you're thrifty and you don't honestly care, then you're not going to be using the attack stat. So you can save a bottle cap if you want to. But anyway, we're rich. We got the money for it. Don't be a cheapskate. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so Gimme Ghoul is all set and ready to go. Awesome. So uh, he's set. What we need to do right now is we need to get him an item. And the item that we're going to be using is leftovers. So let's fly over to my favorite town of Cascarafa. We're going to go over to Cascarafa and get ourselves a leftovers for about 20,000 bucks. And by doing so, that's going to give him a lot of survivability against these two raid Pokemon. And all of the other raid Pokemon that you're going to be using this Golden Go on. Seriously, he's got a great moveset and can be used for literally anyone. Anyway, take a look over here. We're going to go over to Battle Items. Scroll all the way down. You're going to see leftovers right over here for 20,000. I'm going to confirm. Easy peasy. Sold. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to go over to our Gimme Ghoul. We're going to check summary. I'm going to give him an item. We're going to go over this way. And I have leftovers. So we're going to see this all the way down. About halfway. Here we go. One leftovers. Okay. So we gave him leftovers. Cool. This is awesome. So now the really only thing we have to do is get his moveset ready and evolve him, of course. So as you can see over here, all you have to do is go over to your bag, beat up a whole bunch of these, catch them, doesn't even matter. You want to be able to get the 1,000. You want to get 999 of these Gimme Ghoul coins and then use them on the uh, the little Gimme Ghoul chest and he'll turn into Golden Go. Then you're all set and ready to go. All right, so I'm going to fast forward that. I didn't grind another 1,000 for this tutorial. You guys have already seen my tutorial on it. So let's just go over moveset really quick. All right, so we were talking about this earlier. The only move that we really want to get is going to be a couple different things. Light screen and reflect are going to be TMs that you can use. Uh, you can find them honestly anywhere. And then we also want to use our, um, our Thunderbolt too. I taught him everything that he can learn, which is great. So here we go. I'm going to do Thunderbolt uh, since I taught him that. We're going to do that and we're going to give him Thunderbolt. Excellent. That's the move set. Okay, in case you guys are curious as to how to make Thunderbolt, I'll show you guys right now. Thunderbolt is right over here. So you need 10,000 League Points, Pachirisu Fur, Tadbulb Mucus, or Pichu Fur. If you don't want to do that, you can easily find a Thunderbolt right over here. And I'll show you guys exactly where the TM is to save you a little bit of time. It's going to be right in this neck of the woods. We're going to set that as a destination. We're going to go to Porto Marinada and get you this TM. 
Yeah, it's really good, man. You, he's got a lot of good coverage moves, and he's so strong. So anyway, Porto Marinata, here's where you get Thunderbolt. Here we go. Boom, baby. That's it right there. On the ground every single time. That is Thunderbolt. Love that, okay? It's right this way. So uh, you can absolutely... Use the Drowsy Fur, Flittle Down, or you can head to the Overworld. And I'll show you guys exactly where that's at. Here we go. Reflect is going to be right over this way. You're going to find that in these interesting spots right over in this general direction. So we're going to set that as our uh, little destination. It's right over by Lavincia, and we should be able to find it nearby. So let's go get ourselves a Reflect and save you a little bit of material so you don't have to go hunt down some different Pokemon. Here we go. So coming on down, it's like on this, this, I don't know, barge? <laughs> you know, honestly, I've never explored this area. All right, usually uh, we just went over to Iono and, and called it a day. Tell me I could just climb up the side of this wall. Can I even? Oh, wow, look at that. It's just a sheer wall like that. Okay, cool, great. Uh, and you can see right over here in this way, if I jump right over here, this is going to be Reflect. Super simple. Light screen, here we go. Uh, Magnemite Screw, Voltorb Sparks. Right now, I don't have the Magnemite Screws. I'm not gonna go hunt that, so let's find it in the overworld, just in case you're looking for it. If you guys are looking for a light screen, that's gonna be in Lavincia right over here. Remember, we found Reflect in this general area. It's gonna be right underneath the town. So I'll show you guys exactly where that's at. We're in the big Pokeball circle right over here by the water, and then you'll be able to find the light screen right over this way. So now we have everything we need in order to knock out these two Pokemon. So go ahead and evolve your Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go, and now let's talk about all of the new Paradox Pokemon and how we're gonna counter them. Now, before you get started with looking for this, you want to make sure that your game is updated. So go to the home menu, press the plus button, and make sure that you are software updated via the internet, and you'll see version 1.2.0. Make sure you guys are connected, and the download will only take a few moments in order to do so. And as usual, what you want to do now is go over to your map and make sure that you find the little water icon if you're looking for the walking wake, or the psychic icon on a five-star raid if you're looking for iron leaves. So head on over there, you'll find the raid just like this, and get yourself ready to challenge it alone. Okay, the very first Pokemon that we're going to show you is none other than Walking Wake. This Suicune ancient form is actually really cool, and it looks like a raptor. It literally walks on the water. It is so cool. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what the stats are so that you guys can really understand what this Pokemon does. Uh, the typing is going to be Water Dragon. So strong. Awesome typing right over that way. But the Terra type is going to be Water. So make sure that you bring a Pokemon that can deal some super effective damage against Water um, such as grass, you got electric, uh, if you have freeze dry, that can also work. Anyway, uh, coming over this way, you're going to see the main moves that it will use. Hydro Steam is going to be interesting because it is boosting the power in sunlight versus having the power whenever a water moves you. So that's amazing. It's got Dragon Pulse, it's got Noble Roar, and it's got Flamethrower. Now, right off the bat, it uses Sunny Day, so that's going to be five turns of some really, really strong Hydro Steam, really strong Flamethrower. So if you can stall that out, you'll be golden go. <laughs> anyway, so as you know, golden go does get roasted by flamethrower. So if that ends up happening, just keep on resubbing in and you'll be able to do the work. So other than that, I think we're ready to go. You guys can take a look at the stat spread right over this way on screen. Pretty strong and it's at level 75. So you don't really have to worry too much. Anyway, let's jump into the battle and I'll show you guys exactly what to do with golden go. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Golden Go versus Walking Wake. This one's going to be a walk in the park. So right off the bat, you'll notice that he's going to use Sunny Day, and there's a chance that he'll be using Flamethrower. But your first thing that you want to do is use Light Screen. By using Light Screen, that's going to mitigate a lot of the special attacks coming your way. And you can also help mitigate your teammates as well. Now, the next thing that you want to do is use Metal Sound. You want to utilize that three times in order to debuff Walking 
Walking Wake special defense all the way down to minus six. Now, like I said earlier, the accuracy is relatively shaky at 85%, so it's inevitable that you are going to miss one or two, but keep on using it until you're able to successfully do it three times just like this. Now, you'll also notice over here that he is trying to use Noble Roar, but since we have the ability that negates that, we're all set. Next thing you want to do is use Nasty Plot as many times as you can. You don't necessarily need to use it three times because you want to pay attention to your HP bar. If you can squeeze in two Nasty Plots, you're going to be all set. Maybe even one, but right over here you'll see that we got two Nasty Plots up, and then now we're going to proceed to Thunderbolt and take him out. Congratulations, you beat him solo with just a Golden Go. All right, well, congratulations on getting yourself a walking wake. Next up on our list is going to be none other than Iron Leaves. This Verizion future form is actually kind of cool. I like him a lot. It's, uh, it's, it's very cute and robotic. Looks awesome. Anyway, I'll show you guys exactly what this Pokemon does so you have a little bit better of an understanding when it comes to building some Pokemon. So right over here, it's going to be at level 75 just like the other one. It is a Grass Psychic type, but the Terra type that it's going to be using is Psychic. So it'll be weak against any kind of Dark type attacks, any Bug type attacks, or any ghost type attacks. Keep that in mind as you're bringing counters over this way. Now the moves that it'll use in battle is its special move called Psy Blade. Now this is pretty interesting because it's going to be 50% more powerful if there's electric terrain available. And one of the first things that it does in battle is set up the electric terrain. Now outside of that, it does use Leaf Blade, which has a high chance of getting a crit. Mega Horn has shaky accuracy, so you can take advantage of that by using Bright Powder if you really wanted to but the really really hard thing about this pokemon is that he's going to be using swords dance and boosting his attack stat to plus two then plus four and maybe even plus six if you're really really unlucky so what you really have to do is hope and pray for the mega horn misses hope that he doesn't swords dance on you and then hope that you can get that reflect up in order to knock him out now remember what i said earlier you want to make sure that you switch your ability or switch your move set so that he has the reflect and you could set that up first turn anyway let me show you exactly how to use our golden go in order to knock this pokemon out all right, here we go. Jumping on in, Golden Go versus Iron Leaves. Now, we are a Steel type, so we're going to resist all the moves that it throws at us. But for good measure, we do want to start off with using a Reflect. That'll make sure that we don't take a lot of physical damage when he uses Swords Dance. All right, so Reflect first turn over here. You'll see that he uses Swords Dance in order to boost his attack. Now, as usual, we want to use Metal Sound, but keeping in mind that Metal Sound has 85% accuracy, and you may miss one or two of them. Our goal is to get him to minus six special defense by using that move three times and if you guys are taking a look over here the leaf blade doesn't do any damage to us it is doing pitiful amounts so you guys can see over here that we didn't miss a single one now he's going to be starting to use some different moves such as side blade and since it's a psychic type attack it's not going to be doing a lot of damage to us keep in mind that you want to take a look and pay attention to how many reflect turns you have left so press the y button and check summary when you need to all right over here you'll be able to see that we did a nasty plot over that way and we're going to be using a second one over here i'm going to roll for it we're going to go all in full send we use two nasty plots this way and i'm going to use a shadow ball just because i was noticing that his hp was almost getting to half and once his hp goes to half he's going to put up his shield and that's going to be bad news so make sure that you send that entire shadow ball his way right before the half off mark. Anyway, congratulations, you got him. And there you have it, everyone, the all-in-one guide on how to use Golden Go in order to beat all these brand new raid battles with the brand new Paradox Pokemon. Now, Golden Go can sit inside your boxes and you can use him for literally any 5-star raid, provided that you're not going to eat a lot of hits. He does very well with switching out his coverage moves with Make It Rain, Steel Beam. He's got amazing moveset potential. So now that you've invested into a Golden Go, because of course you had to spend a thousand Gimme Ghoul coins on him, he's going to be doing a lot of work for you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Now, I said earlier that this isn't the end-all be-all. There's going to be many different counters that you guys can use in order to do any of these guys these guys it's it's amazing i want to hear from you which pokemon did you use in order to beat either the 
Suicune or the Virizion Paradox Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. And extra credit to you guys if you provide the full-on moveset so that other people can take a look at it. EV spread and everything. All right, you guys are awesome. I'm going to work on some really awesome videos uh, such as the brand new Zoroark. Ooh, the, the Hisui one. I'm actually very excited for that. Yeah, and Zerua too, man. I got to hatch a shiny. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.